Hi Cancer, it's Joe from Angels and Ancestors and Dives. This is your top up reading for June 2024. I nearly said 2023. That must be relevant to some people. Um, perhaps there's an anniversary coming up. We're still going to use the solstice cards because in the second half of June we've definitely got um the summer solstice, the longest day, whatever you want to call it. Letha, I think some people call it so yeah, so beautiful celebration i love it i have never managed to get up that early in the morning to celebrate it um i have managed to do it the other way around though staying up late until that time in the morning and falling into bed so whatever you're doing however you're celebrating uh, please just have a wonderful wonderful time and if you don't celebrate that particular um sabbath uh just know it is the midsummer's day. Go to a pub, go out, have a party, whatever. It's a time of enjoyment. And it's also where the days are completely equal. Are they equal? No, they're not completely equal, are they? It's the longest day. So it's the shortest amount of uh, nighttime hours and the longest amount of daytime hours. Um, but yeah, it is the longest day. So once we go past that, the days sorry to say this they start getting shorter again and uh, doesn't happen like overnight but yeah it is a bit of a milestone i'm just surprised we're here at that point so can i have an energy card for cancer please and i didn't even get the words out they gave me a card anyway and i'm sorry but my arm's really stiff and it's bloody hurting so i may ooh out and ouch during the uh video Rot and Decay, a number 31, added together it's a four. Um, now usually fours are celebrations or maybe sort of missing something or somebody. It says here, it festers when left in the shadows. Bring it to life by giving it away. So whatever ails you, whatever you feel is, do you know, I just heard the term driving you mad. Maybe it's an old trauma, maybe it's an old way of living, an old way of being. Perhaps you've not been able to let go of um, whatever it is that's upset you in the past. And they're saying bring it to life by giving it away. And if you don't know who to give it to, there are two ways of doing this. You can either send it back from whence it came. So you give it back to the person who, who caused it by saying have it back just spiritually just send it back to them visually just send it back to me it doesn't matter if they're not on the planet they are still in spirit they have every right to have that back and let them deal with that crap if you don't want to send it back to the source then send it into the universe and ask the universe the quantum field to dissipate it to get rid of it for you so there's a couple of ways that you can just actually give it away just give and you know if you have got a divine give it to your divine they don't mind they'll sort it out for you you just have the have to have the faith that that's what's going to happen so at a really exciting time at the weekend we went to the roman and medieval fair at colchester in essex and um i met a lovely lady there who i bought a beautiful cloak from gorgeous cloak it's um silver with white and silver edge i can't even describe it i will take some photographs and put them up um but she's also measured me for a very traditional uh kind of pagan 2000 year ago style dress unfortunately she's making it out of heavy cotton so it'd be really cool to wear but it will still look like with the colors that i've chosen which is a deep bottle green and a brown they're very earthy colors um and their colors like would still indicate sat, um, sackcloth and that sort of thing so the next thing that i'm looking for oh, and i've got a beautiful belt as well um so the next thing that i'm looking for is some traditional footwear um I suppose sandly type things but not blingy you know really sort of like before the world of um let's 
keep up with the Joneses type of thing. But yeah, that, that was my weekend. Um, really enjoyed it. Thoroughly loved it. So yeah, so I was really... Um, oh, and I've got the most beautiful U bowl as well. Do you know, there's a bit of a story unfolding here, darling. So what I would do is, is while I'm just shuffling to make a cup of tea or get yourself a drink and snuggle down because it does look like this is going to be a bit long-winded and that's not the intention of these ones but if it is what it is then that's what we're going to do so movement and journey oh okay what can you do about this situation i don't even know what the situation is yet Oh, thank you. That was definite, wasn't it? New beginning. How nice. And then what is out of your hands? Reconnecting to your true self. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh. And then the outcome, please, for cancer. Okie doke, my loves. We're not doing any clarifying with this reading. It is the top up. If you haven't seen the other reading, I did put it up towards the end of May. Uh, you and the fire signs were the first ones to get it because you did not get a May reading, which I apologise profusely for. So, my darlings, let me have a quick look. Okay. So, what started this... Three of Pentacles. Now, I've been looking at that card as I've been shuffling the others and when I was waffling a little bit because I've got a meaning from this that I've never had before. It's still a collaboration, but it was a collaboration that wasn't necessarily um, any good for you. In comes the Knight of Wands. Someone's walking away from this collaboration. Now, it could be a business partnership. It could be a family Remember, it could be a loving, caring partnership, but there is definitely the walking away because there wasn't much joy found in this collaboration and someone has decided to walk towards their son, their happiness, their success. And they're remembering as they walk away to enjoy their journey. And part of their journey was to understand with the page of chalices that there was a time when you was really happy but it wasn't this that made you happy. It's a really odd for the Three of Pentacles to come out like that. So the um, Page of Chalices is telling you to go back to that time when you felt happy, where you felt loved and accepted, and allow the emotion to flow. Stop damming up how you feel about things. You really need to let that go. And then in comes... The seven of wands, options, choices and blessings. Don't get caught up with trying to overstretch or overreach a goal. It will come to you because all those wands are yours. Um, but don't put yourself at risk in any way. It doesn't matter if it's physical, mental, emotional or spiritual. Do not put yourself at risk by tippy-toeing over a fire. Just know... Um, you don't have to overstretch and overreach right now because you've got the ace of wands, the ultimate wand coming in around projects, plans and people. This is a passion and a desire that you really want to get off the ground. Um, I'm kind of getting that this collaboration didn't work. Whatever it means for you, it could be to do with how you make your money. It could be a career move. It could be something to do with your home life, all of that sort of thing. But definitely there was a walking away i don't know who that was i think it may have been you um but whoever that was they decided that their happiness their passion and desire was somewhere else um but they're saying don't whatever you do don't dam up your emotions let them flow don't put yourself at risk for reaching out because there is this beautiful ace of wands here where the sun is parting these cherries are ripening off beautifully and allowing you to taste something much sweeter towards the end of June. Very nice start. I thought it was going to be really naff, 
when I got that message through and that was an intuitive message um, but I really thought it was going to be naff with that but in actual fact it's not it's actually really positive so whether that was you or somebody else that walked away from this the last three cards are you it is giving you a brand new opportunity you may not have seen the opportunity or you have may have seen it as an obstacle to start with um, you know, when people walk away, whether it was you or whether it was the other person, there's this gut wrenching, fuck, now what do I do? You know, and, and you get kind of get lost and swept up in the emotion of everything. So just know, let that emotion flow, get rid of it, give it away, let it go. You can't let go of the memory, you can't let go of what's happened, but the emotion you can control beautiful cards so facing your fears and taking your power back so facing your fears you've got the queen of the thames coming through libra gemini or aquarius or somebody who's just um highly intelligent highly intuitive a thinker type person they know what to do and when to do it they've got a weapon they know how to cut things out they know when to prune back and when not to prune back. They know when to make that final cut. And your fear is, is if you make the final cut, do you win the battle? No. Because in comes the battle wagon. You feel triumphant. You do. There's no two ways about it. It is a cancer card. You feel triumphant. And you may be tempted to cut all ties, cut everything out, without a second thought that there may be some regrowth to be had no matter what type of regrowth so the universe is tapping you on the shoulder saying you're not in control of this journey at the moment the horses are going to take you where you need to be rather than where you want to be um to sit down and enjoy this journey um i get that you're quite fearful about giving in on that and again wow a walking away card my guess is, is that you would rather walk away than face having to deal with the emotion of everything right now. I think it's probably too much. Even though you're a Cancerian and you're governed by your emotions, you're stuck in your head with the Queen of the Thames and then the Seven. Loads more options, choices and blessings. And it's almost like you've walked away from something thinking that success and happiness was just down the road. And you've walked out of one gruesome situation straight into another. And this card very often comes out to say, keep walking. You haven't found it yet. That woman in that doorway, look at her. She's fucking angry, isn't she? So just know, sit back and enjoy the journey because you need to keep going. You need to move beyond what it is that you found so far. That's your fear. Now, take, I'm going to put that down because my hand is hurting. Taking your power back is knowing your magic with the she. She is a 14. You add it together. She's a five. She's a transitional card. It is having faith in the moon. It, and you should do because you, you are governed by the moon um, and the goddess. Knowing your intuition around making um, spells and prayers and petitions and you know whatever it is that you do um it's all got magic attached to it so in her kitchen she has got rosemary for protection lavender down here um well lavender does loads of things it does healing um rosemary for protection and for remembrance Lavender's pretty much the same, but it's got healing properties as well. She's got candles for intention, fire for passion and desire, the broom to sweep things away, a fame to draw the energy down from the universe. And then she's got the fey folk rolling around her head, adding that extra bit of magic with her permission. She's very intuitive. I'm getting the sense, that I did get this with that card, didn't I? That you was maybe a little bit fed up with what, what was going on around you. Um, and this walking away hasn't given you any sense of relief from that at the moment but taking your power back look at what's happening you've got this here with the ace of um 
wands coming through but taking your power back know your magic make yourself come out of this power if you don't want that chalice say so allow that give it away that's what the other card said give it away do not accept it because there is a brand new chalice coming in now you know how i feel if you've been following me for any length of time about the ace of chalices again this is going to be one of your cards because you are a water sign the chalices especially the ace is for you to fill up with your wants and needs your joy your happiness your aspirations all of the nice stuff in life you're putting it in that chalice now you don't ever give that chalice away it's yours to keep at all times never give it away all the love in there never give it away it's this overspill here that then feeds the lilies that are flourishing underneath and that is what builds your relationships and again you've got this flow of emotion coming through but i do get that you have got this thing going on where you know you need to take this fear has got to go and you have got to take your power back by giving away what's upset you give it away send it off you can't give the experience away it will be a memory but if you do decide to go all out to heal from it to the point of repair it won't bother you as much as it would if you didn't do that work if you didn't decide hold on a minute that wasn't my decision that was their decision or if that was your decision to move away from this what was it that made you move away give it give the reason that you walked away from this back to the person where it should be given so my darlings your manifestation your wish fulfillment and why it may be fed lovelies you've got the five of pentacles it's another transitions card you haven't seen your full potential yet you haven't seen the ability for you to actually make some money you haven't seen the warmth that's coming from those standing stones the protection that it offers you you're sitting with your back to it currently but the transition tells me it's not going to take long for you to actually understand that for you to be able to move forward you need to get your bt off of that bench and go and stand in the standing stones of protection go into the warmth go into where it's safe and understand that these pentacles hanging on the tree they're ready for you to pluck off and use they're not just hanging there for decoration so your movement your journey where the fuck you need to be queen of chalices of course this is your card here she is sitting on a throne in the ocean with the ocean lapping around her feet she understands the healing property of the ocean she understands how the ocean can take away um a lot of ailments and it, you know when we're not functioning properly when we are um hurting and the emotional hurting then becomes physical hurting but she knows the properties that are in the salt water in the seawater um and there she is holding this chalice for you saying come on this is your chalice you need to fill it up she's also the queen of diversion so she does divert off to deal with her problems it doesn't mean that she doesn't deal with them she just deals with them in a completely unique unique way so just know on your movement and journey if you are dealing with something in your own unique way it's okay don't let other people dictate to you that that is not okay because it is it's fine so my lovelies this is the third ace on the deck which one's missing earth air air's not here well, that's all right three of the best ones ace of pentacles a new beginning around your home life 
around your career and your money there's a potential move um on all those fronts or it may be that you've had to make a decision about home life balance perhaps you're looking at this as being such hard work that you've gone back to the drawing board gone back to basics and gone okay so where do i need to be where where does my energy need to focus is it on work is it making the money is it at home or do i need to do a combination of all of those things so what is out of your hands it's another four the four of wands now for some of you this was a business deal and this business deal although it was i'm going to say it was quite successful um and you did have success at this the universe is holding this back because they're saying you're not done with this you're not done with this there there is going to be a celebration around this now it may be um that with the queen of Athames over here that you could be needing to find out something something to do with legalities especially if this was a business partnership uh the temptation to walk away has been so great that you haven't kind of taken on board the ramifications of the legal bit around it so please take that advice uh, because it will be really helpful to you in the future reconnecting to your true self you have stepped out of the queen energy straight into the king energy and it's rare that i get a good feeling from the king energy but look what comes in behind you um cancer pisces scorpio now you could be dealing with another water sign however i do get that is you stepping out of the queen energy back into the king energy because you've given yourself permission the only one thing that I will warn you against is the queen is very open about her emotions. The king tends to be closed off having been hurt in the past. Do not do that to yourself. Keep yourself open and keep yourself in a position where you are able to celebrate the wings because the wings are big. This completion is coming in with the ten of chalices. It's an ultimate outcome. It doesn't matter whether you are in a loving, caring relationship, whether you are blending a family, whether you're, you've got children that are now fledging for the first time. There is a completion around you, which means that there is going to be a brand new start with this Ace of Chalices over here. Uh, where there's completion, there's got to be a new beginning. So my guess is, is that you have allowed yourself to step back into the king energy and put really healthy boundaries in place and it's put you in such a place of happiness it doesn't matter whether you are with somebody or on your own your family life is going to make so much more sense to you when you do this reconnection that's beautiful that is really beautiful you are not going to know yourselves by the end of june you really are not how nice is that? So the outcome, my darling, you've got the five of wands. How many bloody fives you got on here as well? It's not that many, is there? Two. Fours and fives. So it's all kind of transitional. Watch out for the egotistical gits around you. This crowd of people, they get together, they can make magic, but they can also make a lot of bloody mischief. So really be aware of those people that maybe you are the common denominator. Each one of them, in turn, is a friend to you. But they're not friends to each other. They're kind of like acquaintances. And when they get together, and you would have witnessed this, when you bring them all together, when you get them together, sometimes it will feel magical, sometimes it will feel fucking awkward, because there is massive ego here to be had. So just be aware of the ego that's going on around you, because that can affect your emotional side and how you're going to deal with 
where it is that you need to be um, in the future. And let me tell you, you know this walking away and heading towards your sun? You've got it. It's there. Number 19. It's a 10. It's another completion. But it's success. It's happiness. It's joy. It's all the beautiful stuff that brings on the high days and the holidays and all of that nice stuff. So, nice reading. There's a lot of letting letting things go, giving things away that you don't want anymore. Um, but also reconnecting to your true self is going to be massive for you towards the end of June. Possibly even in to July. Transformation all the way. So let's just get some angels and ancestors for you. Protection guardian, drop your shields. Darlings, it's all right to protect yourself. But when you've got the shield up over your heart space, you are not allowing your emotions to flow. And we have said that several times in this reading. Do not dam up your emotions. You are an emotional sign. You need to let that flow happen. If you need to have a cry, have a fucking cry. If you need to just express yourself and let go of some anger and give that away, go somewhere where there's nobody else there and scream your head off. It doesn't make it just release that tension. Get rid of it because otherwise you will go pop. Traveller, move in a new direction. I don't think there's any doubt about that. I think you're on your way already. Mountains, stand your ground. Do not do not let anybody make you feel any less than you actually are. Because there, this is you on the top bit, but look at what's underneath. There are many layers to you. Do not let people steal your thunder or put you down. Spirit Fox, trust your talents in changing times. Elder. Move beyond ancestral patterns. Do not make the same mistakes of the past. Autumn, release the old and rest. Just know when you get autumn, release the old and rest. It's like um, the four of a thames. It's time to take a time out. It doesn't matter whether it's for a few minutes, a couple of hours, a day, a few days. Just give yourself some time to rest up because this is huge for you cancer medicine mother honor your inner knowing honor your intuition and cancer you've got it in spades darling you really have trader exchange energy to create abundance and last but not least magic guardian now you had the she just here showing you the magic and here you've got the magic guardian unlock the magic within lovelies that's your reading for the latter part of june wherever you are in the world please like share and subscribe for me please be safe and i will catch you oh in the next reading sorry for the kick